bird mine everyone so it's a very early start to the day here in San Cristobal de las Casas we just got up at 6 30 and we got up this early because we're going to an amazing waterfall that's not close it's like three hours away and uh, yeah I think we've got to get like a bus and then a shared van or something so uh, we just head into the bus stop now the bus is going to be at 7 45 a.m. So we just got on the bus here, it's like a coach and it's gonna cost 60 per person and we're heading to a place called Comitán and that will take about two hours to get there. So the coaches in Mexico are always pretty comfortable actually, always got these nice chairs. They're good coaches, right? Oh, you're listening to music. <laughs> Now saying the the coaches are good yeah. in Mexico. Yeah, yeah big headrest. And we get the entertainment. They also um, all have bathrooms as well, so yeah, that's good. Not in every country we get restrooms on on the coaches. So we've arrived in Comitán now, the ride here was absolutely beautiful, just loads of like hills and mountains, farmland, yeah it just looked amazing. And we're now looking for the Colectivo, there's supposed to be like a van to the waterfall, so yeah we're just trying to find it. So we just asked a local and he said just to wait here and apparently a van will come to take us to the waterfall. All right, off we go. Nice and comfortable. Yeah, no space for my legs. Yeah, <laughs> our legs are too long. <laughs> So we finally arrived. It probably it took about four hours overall with the waiting for the van and everything. So yeah, it's an absolute mission. It better be worth it, right? Yeah, yeah. From the pictures, it should, it should be worth it. It looks like giant and beautiful, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So we just stopped at a restaurant quickly because it's uh, 12 o'clock now. Yeah, we're just gonna eat quickly before going to the waterfall. Cause uh, yeah, if not, we would have been too hungry. So we got this fish dish and we have absolutely no idea what it is. I think she said it's like dried fish or something. Yeah, I don't know. We didn't understand all that she said. But. Yeah, it was fish, so we just said okay. <laughs> and I've never had fish like this before. It's like super salty and dry. Yeah, pretty unusual. It's not exactly bad, just uh, yeah, different. I don't know. Carol's not a fan. No. It's kind of weird, isn't it? No. We're not used to it. No. Not <laughs> what I was expecting. Yeah. So this waterfall is called El Shiflon and it was 50 pesos to enter. And the guy back there said you actually have to walk like uh, an hour and 30 minutes to get to the final waterfall. So yeah, it is a lot of walking. We didn't, we didn't actually know that before we came here. So. I have to see how it goes. So this uh, map shows how big the area is and there's five waterfalls overall. So yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of walking. So 
So it's a really nice walkway here, right beside the river. And that is the reason why we came here, because look at that color. So apparently all the waterfalls and everything are this really bright blue color. So I'm thinking it's gonna look incredible. We noticed there's some cabins down there, so you can actually stay here if you want. We should have probably done that since it takes so long to get here. We're gonna have to spend like three to four hours going back later on. So yeah, I would recommend that. They look like nice cabins right on the riverside. So I think we're gonna go for a quick dip in this spot here. Looks nice and calm. I think we've only had, ever seen water that color in like rivers and waterfalls in Southeast Asia. Yeah, in Laos. Laos and Philippines. Philippines as well, yeah. Nowhere else though, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Not that bright. <laughs> Man, it's ice cold. <laughs> it's absolutely freezing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the water's not as appetizing as it looked from the outside. It really is like ice cold. Go on, you go first, Carol. Uh, no, you can go first. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. All around the side, there's actually like barbecue spots. So yeah, the locals are having like barbecues. Yeah, an awesome place to spend the day. It's literally painful. <sighs> it hurts. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do it. All right, are you? Yeah. It's almost light. Yeah, I think it's because of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Just do it already. <laughs> that is how Chris swims and this is how I swim. Just like this. <laughs> Done. Oh man. I didn't expect it to be so cold. That's why nobody's in here, really. Yeah, that's just why. Because it's a very hot day, but just Chris and other two guys are swimming at the moment. Beautiful, though. Yeah, beautiful. Guys, so this is the kind of cabana that I was talking about. You can stay in a place right here, overlooking the amazing river. Yeah, I think we should have done that, right? We didn't know it was so good. We didn't know. Yeah, next time. So we're now approaching the first official waterfall. You're not allowed to swim in it. So this waterfall is called Suspiro. Look at that.
swimming from up here, it looks amazing, right? Oh, yeah. It's very high. That's why you can't swim because it would be too dangerous. Yeah, it's but very it's, hard, right? Yeah. Very strong. Yeah. Uh-huh. But it's beautiful. Yeah, look at this. Insane. And that's only one of five. Yeah, this place is crazy. Look at the size of the second one. <laughs> Way bigger than the first one. Wow, that is so powerful though. Almost scary. You even got it coming down here as well. So beautiful. So me and Carol said that we've been to other waterfalls like this in Southeast Asia. But usually in those places, it was just like one or two main waterfalls. I don't think we've ever been anywhere where there's like five like this level. <laughs> second to last viewpoint and just look at that monster up there so that one's called Belo de Nobia I think something like that and it's a hundred and twenty meters so super huge and then there's even another one down here which is the fourth waterfall I think and then on this side you get some beautiful views of the river how do you say the name in Spanish yeah. It's unbelievable how high it is. It's yeah, it's like, crazy. Wow. That's Stop, the that, God dropping. That's the shot. <laughs> All right, now it's time to see how the main waterfall looks from the main viewpoint. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. So hopefully you can hear me. The water's coming from all directions right now, so we're getting soaked. I have to keep cleaning the lens, but look at this thing. <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. Look at your glasses. <laughs> oh, I, I think it's time for what? Yeah.
it turns out that I didn't charge my second GoPro battery so I've had to switch to the iPhone instead which I never film on but we've just come down to one of the little pools here in the river and we're gonna swim a little bit I really wish we had known about the cabins here because we would have definitely stayed here. It'd be amazing to wake up in the morning and then just dive into this beautiful blue water and visit the waterfalls all, all over again but yeah we're gonna have to leave soon since it takes so long to, to get back home. We've enjoyed it anyway we've been here about like five or six hours overall so yeah easily enough time. So some things that I forgot to mention is that the water is only this color in the dry season which we're in right now. Apparently in the rainy season when it's raining a lot it turns brown so yeah if you want this kind of color you got to come in the dry season which I think is around like yeah December, January, February, March. Not exactly sure when the actual date is. And normally people come here by tour. We obviously went on a bit more of like a local way to get here like local adventure with the buses and the vans and stuff but you can just book a tour it'll be more expensive we only didn't do it because we know that you get less time here i think with the tour you go to some other lake nearby as well so you do more stuff but we just wanted more time at the the waterfall so that's why we decided to come by ourselves so we get more time here especially since we make these videos as well don't just want to film all the time right want to enjoy it as well So it's actually the next morning now. We got back home really late and yeah, we both just pretty much passed out and completely forgot about filming anything more. It probably would have been better if we just rented a car. I think we would have got there a lot quicker. Yeah, it'd have just been a lot easier. So I recommend doing that also if you, if you want to do it on your own. But obviously the way we did it was the cheapest option. And I just remembered that we didn't show the place that we're staying in the last video. So right now it's a mess because we're just getting ready to leave to Palenque. But this place cost $18, so the cheapest apartment so far, I think, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's pretty good. We have a lot of, we don't have a fridge, which is bad, but other than that, we have everything we need and the Wi-Fi is one of the fastest that we had here in Mexico. Yeah, we haven't had good Wi-Fi in Mexico usually, yeah. but yeah, it's good here. And then, yep, this was the, the bathroom. So we end up spending about, I don't know, four full days here, maybe four or five nights. So yeah, pretty good place. We're on top of a local's house. It's a, yeah, it's a local place. So as I mentioned, the next video is gonna be from Palenque. So stay tuned for that. As always, just drop a like on the video to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.